So my NV4500, I'm uh, pulling the bearing cup out of the bearing retainer. And I tried a bunch of different stuff. This thing is a nightmare. You can see right here where I gr tried grinding it, chipping that part out, and that didn't work. So I ended up welding a 5 8 washer into there. And you can see I laid welds around a bunch of times. I like the tin foil thing that I do because you, you get a little bit of splatter still, but it's much easier to clean up. Because uh, I didn't, really didn't want to screw up the surface. So I put a lot of tin foil on there before I welded it. So let's see if it worked. I put a piece of quarter inch steel underneath it to see if I could uh, so. go off to the races. Looks like everything's in good shape. Unwrap job. See how much splatter I got to clean off. Saw other people that did this online and they didn't um, put tin foil on there or anything. So I don't know what kind of splatter they got. Some of them were TIG welding it, um, but you can see. Don't think I burned through with any of the welds, obviously. But everything worked out. So I got a little bit of splatter to clean up. And you can see all the washers I put in on this thing. I put some tin foil down on the bottom so I wouldn't get any splatter down here. Which it looks like that worked out pretty good. See, here's my quarter inch piece of steel I had under the washer. There's your washer. Worked out. So I did it with a MIG welder. Saw where a bunch of people did with TIG. I probably would prefer a TIG but um don't have one so that's what we did worked out got a little bit to clean up but for the most part everything's pretty clean here hope you enjoyed the video good luck these things are a pain like i said i tried grinding it looks like i was pretty close but not quite there